Hello everyone, my name is Valeria Lerbaum. As an engineer in Siemens Technology and Image Processing and Visualization Group, my main focus is software development for augmented reality and virtual reality. I work on different projects in immersive technologies. Ms. Chloe Ekdebas, we are happy to present you our paper Enabling Customizable Workflows for Industrial AR Application. In the last five years, uh, we in Siemens have created a software application, software framework, that we consider Siemens Augmented Reality Browser for Industrial Metaverse. The software application is called HoloLayer and is also already available for every Siemens employee to download it. Going forward, I would like to explain you why and how we at Siemens want to become a key partner to the industrial metaverse space, which fundamentally impact how we work and collaborate in the future. All our customers work with information and big amounts of data. This data is provided by a high level of complexity machines, uh, different diagnostics, and these machines get more and more sophisticated nowadays. Now, how can we help uh, our customers to keep track of it? With whole layer as industrial metaverse browser, you can capture the interface between all these data sources to a single visual interface in augmented reality, where our customers and their engineers can get more insights, more knowledge, uh, all collected in one place. Augmented reality in industry doesn't have one single killer use case. So what are the challenges um, our customers facing? We currently have several pilot projects flying across Siemens uh, to address different use cases. These use cases currently have workflows that consist of complex manuals, paper-based work, or 2D desktop applications. Quality inspection is error-prone because of paper-based tasks. The scales of maintenance assembly could be spread out over the entire factory floor. And sometimes it's hard to distinguish between um, similar parts of the factory equipment. In training use case, there are long gaps uh, in communication and classical training doesn't have uh, the immersive benefits. When not all uh, planners are on site, uh, there are a lot of iterative adaptations to the planning, which is very time consuming. Whole layer is our technical solution to the challenges that our customers face in these different use cases. The basic purpose of the HoloLayer app is viewing and editing holograms. Everything the user can see in augmented reality is a hologram, be it photo, audio, 3D models such as uh, virtual temperature displays with live data you can see on the slide. And hologram has a defined position, orientation, scale in the world. Holograms can also have metadata. Holograms are grouped both logically and spatially. Whole layer structures the world uh, logically into layers, which can be shown and edited one at a time. Whole layer divides the world spatially into places, around 10 meters in diameter maximum, could be smaller. This roughly corresponds to the size of a normal room. Each place has a GPS reference geographic location. A place may also have identifiers to help to distinguish it from other nearby places. As you can see on the slide, the car example. So if you have a scratch, photo of a scratch that was made by a quality inspector, he creates it in a layer called quality inspection in a place car body and in the correct position, of course. Uh, we are convinced uh, that the combination of these use cases are offering uh, provides uh, enough real value to our customers that they start adopting augmented reality. Whole Air has a set of unique capabilities that will drive this adoption. Um, in its core, Whole Air allows to place information at any location in digital form, making accessible and easy visualization, contextual access to documentation, uh, reduced cognitive load, enabling intuitive authoring of additional content, enabling interactions that expand the possibilities how we collaborate. Also enabling personalization to specific colleagues of teams. Our goal is to build a general system as a central corporate unit for everyone that can be used without too much effort. So HoloLayer consists of a mobile app, iOS, Android and HoloLens, and a cloud-hosted backend.
Leading by SDK-based approach means for us that novel interactions and visualization approaches can be implemented quickly, thus uh, fostering innovation within companies and among their customers. Um, to achieve this, our client is set up uh, in a modular structure that provides maximum extensibility and allows easy maintenance of the code. Our cloud-hosted backend also supports new clients to be developed uh, with comparable features. We at Siemens uh, want to be open to the cutting-edge solutions of new workflows and are happy to collaborate with academia and its evolving solutions. And we from the TUM side found it a really great opportunity to work with such industrial experts like Siemens because of their high level of domain knowledge about real world use cases. It allowed us the opportunity to put our own systems we have developed to practical use and also corroborate our findings all within the collaboration. For example, at our chair, one of our colleagues, Sandra Weber, developed a tool called UB Interact, which we use in our collaboration to modularly extend features of the HoloLayer without too much modifications to the source code. This is a quick glimpse of how our two systems ended up integrating. UB Interact is a framework for combining systems and devices over a network. And to quickly summarize, it acts like a decoupled publish-subscribe system where it allows to have different entities ascribe to other participants without them having to know the topic or identifier of a data stream. UB Interact offers additional concepts for multi-device mixed reality setups. One of our challenges early on was that we had these two highly generalized systems that could tackle a multitude of relevant scenarios, but we needed to refine and focus our scope while demonstrating the utility of them both. Together with Siemens, we developed a scenario design space by identifying and fixing parameters such as the user type and timescale of interaction, where we concerned ourselves with only experienced users and interaction scales ranging between 5 and 20 minutes, which landed us at the use case. Scenario variables we decided to keep open were the scale of interaction from the size and distance of the inspected object we wanted to accommodate in our scenario as well as varying the number of involved devices, so whether an HMD was used, a phone or tablet, or even both for a particular inspection task. We created three workflows that employ our integrated HoloLayer UB system that really take advantage of this HoloLayer layer place data model by creating an interaction we called viewpoint triggers. Viewpoint triggers are a previously existing concept in proxemic interactions that Upon entering a set radius of a hologram, it triggers an event, for example, allowing a different virtual overlay in a space, but the concept could be extended much further. Our workflows demonstrate how different activities in the inspection scenario can benefit from the affordances of each device. And our last workflow is around the multi-user setup where different member roles have access to different levels of information. We also show how a remote expert can provide support for the HoloLayer system, such as providing instruction through direct modification of holograms. What the remote expert uses is the experimental hub, where we can optimize task workflows, where we can optimize task workflows, and experiment with novel interaction methods. Among other things, we'd like to accommodate in the future, such as access to different holograms and information based on a user's access and permissions. In summary, we had a positive outcome by combining industrial with academic open frameworks. Not only do the different frameworks address different niches, but they both benefited from the different ways of thinking across our collaborators. Relationships such as these, relationships, su relationships such as these allow laboratory and experimental findings to contribute to solving real world problems and cutting edge research to be brought into industry. We now have a basis for further experiments and developments in the context of real industrial application scenarios that would normally be inaccessible. Thank you for listening. Thank you.